Greetings everyone and welcome to the Hungarian Regional Championship Finals. I am Mark, the national champion, and with me is our store champion. Hello, I'm David and I will be the co-host of this game. Yeah, uh, the, the event took place in Budapest, Hungary, the metagame card store. And as you can see, our competitors Tamás and Peter were playing Captain Kato and Broderick War. Um, David, talk about how you feel about Space Marines right now in the current game. Space Marine is a quite good all-round faction. They have pretty valuable cards, so they I think they have the best three drops three drops in the game, so they are pretty solid, but uh, War is very powerful in the current meta, so this won't be an easy fight for Kato. Yeah, as we can see, there are four green pilots in the first five, because the first one is not green. I don't really expect a lot of fight there. And we can see the dreaded troop transport as the first deploy action from Peter, who is actually the uh, last year's regional champion, so he's defending his title here now. Um, I, I don't really think that we should talk a lot about war, because um, people already know it, you love it, you hate it, you don't care about it, people e either play it in your area, or don't. Um, here in Hungary people usually shy away from, uh, from these so-called meta decks. But as we can see, Peter played a tech priest. Um, what do you think about this card? Do you like this no command guy or not really? I think it's pretty good if you are running multiple support cards. So, but I'm pretty sure that Peter runs at least nine, so it can find pretty good value. It's interesting for me that it's uh, it hit the first planet. So Peter is not giving up entirely on that. I mean, it's not gonna take command anywhere anyways, so might as well just put it on the first planet where there will be action and you can cash it in for maybe a support. Yeah, um, but 3 damage is 3 damage. Yeah, I, I guess this is the philosophy of the whole deck, that uh, you just play cheap stuff that it's for ton, and then you don't really need to care about a lot more than having enough green planets to have this effect. We can see some uh, some command back and forth here, denying each other. I don't know. This doesn't seem like a, from uh, from first land doesn't seem like a really long game. I mean, you would expect that uh, war would win with this density of green planets, because uh, while he hasn't played an ammo depot yet. Um, you would expect some kind of swarm anyways, so we will see, because um, I mean, Space Marines have the tendency to to just play the three drops and then accumulate them over time, and then if you don't deal with them, they just add up and then force a battle, and then you can just, again, can deal with them. Yeah, but Tomasz drew pretty good commands, so if he can match Peter's command, then he can build up pretty big, so that can be a problem for war later on. Did he just pass with three, three mana? Three, three resources, what did he play? Two company scouts? Uh, and a tactical squad, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think he passed, but he might I have mean, drop pod, so that's yeah, it. Yeah. Because this isn't like a, a, an amazing start. War denied one, denied two commands, and I mean, the tech priest didn't take any, so um, I mean, I guess because of the tech breeze, this isn't disaster because that guy doesn't take the command from that planet, but but can take the planet itself if needed. So yeah, but I would be surprised if Tomash didn't go to the first planet. I think I would go there. Yeah, maybe. Because that's I, I'm pretty sure War won't go there and. I mean, it's War an easy take of a planet. Yeah, War was going for the fifth planet because that was the only one where he wasn't winning the command and I don't think you want to fight with the uh, Space Marines at the first planet when they have four resources up. 
So it, it, I, I mean, it's pretty standard. You you rarely see wards that are going aggressive on first planets. You just want to snipe the command with it. And uh, he, a, 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 on green planets, he's kind of safe from shenanigans because you can just break the MOD or the um, troop, troop transport and just fight back if if Tamash would uh, drop pod for the fifth planet. But I don't think he would. So. I don't think he will need that, and yeah, as War's ability is global, it's pretty easy to snipe command with him. He's basically almost useless in commands. You only risk losing your bonus, so... Yeah. Or if guess. you have a frontline hard boys, it's not that bad, but... Yeah, we can, we can see some damage and shield trading back and forth. This is like... Standard. I, I, I'm... Not really sure that with the next planet being the removed all damage planet, you would like to force putting damage on your opponent's warlord. But maybe he just doesn't want to uh, feed a resource to uh, Kato and just want to go go home. We'll see. Yeah, but the planet options aren't that good either. So triggering the heal planet is not that big of a loss, I think. Yeah, um, I mean he can move away the uh, Lance Company Scout from War, or discard the cards. I mean, meh. Is this the, uh, yeah, this isn't the best best trigger anything pilot you've seen, but still decent, I think. There's no problem yeah, with and it. Peter saved his tech priest, so he will yeah, have yeah. that later on. And no resource for for Kato. I mean, I think that was the point here. Let's see which one he triggers. Maybe discard. Or or he can take the one resource away. Let's see. I I mean I I, I like resource with Space Marines. And maybe would we'll take it. But War just doesn't really need it. So um Yeah, but if you can discard like uh Preemptive barrage, that's good value. Yeah, but it's random, so you just can't count on that. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, how much cards does Peter have? Money, um, I don't know. He drew he... like four at least, so yeah, he has yeah, a lot, yeah. so it, discarding one won't shock yeah. him that much, yeah, so yeah. maybe you're right with the resource. It won't matter. I mean, maybe can, he can save the uh, Dance Company Scout, but that's just like, so whatever, I think. Uh, yeah, he's that, do that, that way he yeah. takes command at least. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I would like to um, mention that uh, Peter is playing the um, Milano champion deck. Um, he's, I talked to him, he said he didn't really have much time to brew up something, so he just took what was good. So this deck doesn't have um, promotions in it, so that's not gonna be an option on the Sokalum Shrine Guards to deny the command there. Yeah, but having already limited cards in the support slot makes it an okay decision to remove the promotions, I think. Yeah, sure. Although I think, like, you could run five, it's not the end of the world. Now, now the real game begins, because we have green planets, so um, forcing trades is gonna be a lot more difficult. Uh, this is the, I guess, the specialty of this warlord to be painful about these green planets with um, the units that are much more cost-effective than they have the right to be. We'll I would be sur I would be surprised if Tomash forced the first planet because that's pretty rough already. Yeah, you're not gonna force it. Maybe you could be, maybe you could do the second. We'll see. Although if you look at look at what planet he, he took, the the one green planet doesn't mean anything. I mean, yeah, you can deny your opponent winning, but um, but you have to deny two because the first yeah. four are all greens, so that's not that easy to deny him. Yeah, and th and that that's the part that uh, people mostly hate, I think, when you have to struggle on these green planets at the first couple turns of the game because like if you would play another troop transport here it would be like insane to, to just fight that planet there because 
it's zero resource for like a dreadnought in small pieces. And uh, Tomasz has the initiative this turn, so if he goes to the second planet, he can yeah. kill the Talarn Raiders, and then there's only one damage on that Psyker, so... Yeah, he can, he can force it, and I think he will, and then Peter will just let it go, because the uh, second planet isn't essential. Yeah, and if Tamash pours too much resources into the second planet, it can backfire pretty easy because then his whole army will be uh, deployed, uh, committed, uh, tapped, and he won't be able to use those units. Yeah, but you you need to take two of these, so you could you don't have to force the third one, just go to force one. So there's some flexibility here, and don't forget about drop pod because that's like what Space Marine is all about. Yeah, but the Inquisitorial Fortress counters like a lot of tricks in the Space Marine deck and the Librarians, so... Yeah, so now, now the second planet is, uh, is a bit rougher now. With yeah, the, with uh, troop, troop Transport and the Fortress, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like... And like the, the amazing thing about these uh, support is that they are global, so you can use them on any planets, of course. The green one will yield better results, but still, you don't have to commit these to different planets. I think the first planet will, Tomash will just let it go, and then um, I, I, would you go to the second planet or not? Force force out the uh, troop transport and the for, uh, fortress there. I or think I would because the sooner you force it, the better I think because. If you let it be there for the end game, it can end up in horrible results. Also, I think we can uh, we can be sure that uh, Peter is going for the fourth planet. Maybe maybe the third, but I I, I would think he is going for the fourth planet. Yeah, but the second planet will get ugly. Oh, I no. mean, uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it was pretty easy. This is, this is like standard, like gentleman's agreement that uh, I'm just gonna let this one go, you're just gonna let this one go, and then we will win. I mean, the, I, I don't know if, if Tamash has any drop pods in his hand, I would guess that he has, because it's Space Marine deck. Again, this is something that you either like or hate, pretty similar to, to War. But, um, I mean, I mean, I, I, I think I can see a drop out there. So, um, so, so let's see what's gonna happen here. At least some action yeah, but, is gonna happen. Yes. But dragging out a tent company scout out of the drop pod is obviously a sad sight. So, it's still random. Out well, of at six, least it's, at think. least it's something. So you cannot really, really be unhappy. And also, don't forget that, um, like, the main fault of the Inquisitorial Fortress. If, he's, if it's forced here and now, is that uh, the unit is not gonna die. And we can see that uh, uh, Peter is just gonna conserve the fortress and uh, not, not blow it. Because, again, he can just let this one go. It's not, not that important. There is not much to gain here, I think. Also, um, he doesn't really want to feed units into Kato when uh, he clearly cannot really um, deal with him. Or mm. is he? I mean, in interesting. I mean, like these salt teams. I mean, I guess you can commit these. Let's see who, who he attacks. Yeah, going for the throw. And in indomitable. Of course, indomitable. Every space marine has at least one in his, mean, hand, in his starting hand. So I mean, you know it's about no the surprise. Time. Yeah, until that, it gets notified. It's pretty yeah, good. yeah, that hurts. I mean, I, at least you can steal shield after it. So that's an option. I mean, it's kind of interesting to to force it and then still let the Librarian attack. Because you could expect that these guys are gonna die here. And then just, just more resources. And I, I don't know the complete deck list, but I'm pretty sure Space Marine decks can spend all their money efficiently. Because uh, they are kind of clunky compared to 
Last time we Taro Man, uh, of course, War, because stuff isn't just two, it costs three. But still, if you have a lot of money, you can you can come up with some ridiculous threats. Yeah, and if you accumulate enough trade orbs, it will be very hard to stop. Yeah. And there is no, no doom here, so uh, you don't have to worry about that either. I wonder if he's gonna pull the trigger on the drop pod now, or not. We'll see. I don't think so, he needs that. Yeah, he has the uh, tactical squad, which you can clear up the south team, yes. I mean, I mean, clearly, clearly he's thinking about something. Um, we'll see what's gonna happen. I don't think that um, this is the planet that either of them want to really force. But uh, again, I'm surprised by the assault team. Anyways, I think Tomash would be happy if P Peter used every tricks in his hands he's or in gonna. his on on his table. <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna. But uh, but it's at least at least space marines can fight this to a relative degree if the drop pod hits because I understand that there are some factions that would struggle with this with this global presence that uh, I have <laughs> a one four and a three two here and then all of a sudden I have two more two twos another three one and stuff like that. At least Space Marine has the Ego Recruit and the Drop Pod to counter these. They're clearly thinking about it. Um, I mean, we'll see. It's kind of, kind yeah, of interesting. I, uh, I think Peter is trying to beat up Kato and threaten him with killing him. So. Yeah, the. Oh! Yeah, he, or maybe he wants to beat up the he he could beat up the veteran because he has to hit with it. But again, the, um, the fortress was used, so uh, it, it was forced out. It's um, and then the, re the reaction is the drop pod. So yeah, but this drop pod is kind of a forced card as well if you see it that way. I mean, let's see what he gets. This is kind this is kind of important at this point. I mean, that's not bad. That's that, pretty that, good. That will go. <laughs> it, it's as good as it gets, I think. Yeah, and and you can kind of see the problem here is that uh, Tomasz got to keep the uh, Cardinus and then now has a veteran and they spent one card and two resources both on it. And I don't think this was a crucial planet where this uh, fortress was really needed. So it's kind of looking bad for war now because uh, Two veterans and a, and a librarian in turn two beating your face. You don't really want to deal with this, I think. This is. This is. I mean, this is, yeah, as good an outcome as it can get. This is a strange state when Space Marines have much more units on the, on the table than the Imperial Guard. Oh, and he even uses the troop transport. I thought he yeah. would save that. Well, I mean, once you committed, you cannot really pull out, so... Yeah, but you can... I think he could have saved that for later use, because this planet was clearly gone. Maybe yeah. not the planet, but the, the fight itself. Maybe he wished that... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird, really, that he, he used all this. You can see a shield, so Kato is not gonna get blooded here. Oh, and the signature attachment with three shields is gone as wow, well. Wow, that's some commitment there. Peter really wants blood here. Yeah, but he couldn't even put... If, even if he put two damage on Kato, he would have just gone home by the end of the turn. I mean, there's a second in the table on turn two, so... Um, that's pretty savage too. And don't forget that these Imperial Guards units cannot go home. Uh, but I would guess Kato will, which, I mean, kinda denied some resources from Kato, but again, like, two units died anyways, already. 
it's kind of interesting. Yeah, and I think he can go home safely with Kato because the rest of the needs will clean up pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe I'm, I don't think he can kill, kill a veteran anyways. But still, if you think about it, two Indomitables already gone, like a drop pod is gone, another double shield is gone. So, I mean, it was relatively big commitment from both of them. The problem is, if you look at what the uh, Space Marines have, oh, and he stayed. Wow. I mean... He's I guess confident. He had, I guess he has more shields. We'll see. Yeah, and one more shield. So yeah, this. I mean, he only has one card left. So um, it was it was some serious commitment from both sides. But still, the Space Marine has nine resources where the units at, at that planet, and uh, Peter will have to deal with those at one point. And this is like the uh, the strange strengths of these Space Marines. I mean, this is a Games Workshop game, so Space Marines are gonna be at least decent. So, um... Yeah, they are t pretty tough and they last for a long time on the board. Yeah. Oh, the final yeah, battle yeah. of this round. Gore just massacred that pirate. And see him move, move out, yeah. And this is gonna be like what happened this turn that the first one will just it, they will just let it go. There's then, no way to fight that. I mean, like you I mean, would have to have a serious board to fight contest that planet. I mean, you you could play the um, signature support for barracks. That would that could change things. Yeah, but I think that planet is gone even with that. Yeah, the veterans maybe it is. and librarian. Okay. It's like insane. Yeah, okay. And now uh, we can see another troop transport. This this is really crucial because uh, now Peter has to like rebuild, kind of. Because yeah, he has cards in his hand, some resources too. Aster Aster units are cheap, but um, he will have to clear those away. I think at the now at the third planet. So uh, again, first match will be let he will just let it go. It's interesting what uh, what Peter plays here because they maybe fight the, they maybe fight the second planet too. I don't think so though. Yeah, you can see them building up at the the third one now. I think. And there has the initiative, and there's the signature unit on the second planet. K2 yeah. has four damage already. I think Tomash won't go there. Tomas just passed. I put right? it. So I just pass with uh, seven resources up. That's wow. Yeah, but, if he, but he only has three cards, so maybe he didn't have any units, or he felt like yeah. his board is okay. Save yeah. the other units for later. But at least he will get to take the first planet with the two resources, so uh, two two cards. So um, maybe he can re refill that way. Um, what do you think from this board point? Uh, who is winning right now? I like. think the Space Marine has a pretty solid board position, but we saw War come back from worse things in the past because he can swarm the board in like one round with a lot of units and then run away with the game, so it's not done yet. It's interesting that Peter hasn't drawn any ammo depots. I think he plays it at least three. Yeah, but if you look at the second planet, um... Peter has like, I mean, not the same army as Tomash at the first, but like, kind of comparable. And with that uh, troop transport at the back, it's it's actually the same, and it, it costs him a lot less. So, um, I mean, if you let the first planet go now, the the really key planet is the uh, third one because that's the last green planet. As we can see, there's a blue red and a blue planet at the back. And he will need the ev event if uh, he doesn't want his uh, Shrine Guards to be one buns and doesn't want to play the platoons to go home. Uh, so, um, I mean, it's kind of interesting where, where Tomás goes here because it, it's it's clear that the, the important man is the third one. 
But can you go there? I don't think so. You, you could go to the fourth, um, the fourth, fourth one, and uh, just um, maybe whittle down the third planet. Hmm. Yeah, as you expected, Tomash went to the fourth one. Yeah. Which is not green. But Peter is in a bad spot in the way that he needs to take the second and the third planet in, in succession, after each other. Yeah. yeah, in succession. So uh, that's a problem because then his whole army will be tapped from the travel and Tomash will probably have some standing units because he has the advantage because of the first and the third planet. I think uh, he went to the second one to uh, use inspirational fervor and just bring those to the next planet. Although they will get uh, some some spray damage from the the area planet. So um, we'll see. Oh, there's tricks. Emperor's variant on the first planet. So I mean, it, it won't win him the planet. Just kill a library, which is still pretty good. Yeah, it's. I think it's it was great value. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, I mean, Tomash already used a lot of shields, but I'm kind of surprised that he didn't have a double shield for that, but still. It could happen, he doesn't have a lot of cards. Speed bombing. It's interesting uh, how many uh, support removal cards do you use, because, uh, you know, Space Marines have the Devastators. Um, I don't think any of us is really high on that one, but uh, people really like those because of the, the meta. Because of, um, I mean, <clears throat> let's be honest, the game itself doesn't really have a global meta like Magic the Gathering does, but uh, you can see some signs here or there, and, and again, this is the finals, and uh, there's war, so uh, this kind of tells you a bit about the story. So yeah. Um, Like, like, what's your opinion about these uh, these uh, location rem or these uh, support removal cards? Do you think that you should go nuts on these? Like, I don't really like them because I don't like the devastators. I think they are overpriced for what they do, and I don't really play them. And the other options are like subdual is horrible, in my opinion. And screen is not bad. Yeah, the screen is okay, but. You can only run it in three factions, and it's pretty hard to squeeze it in most of the times. Like, only one or two copies, if you really make room, can make room, I, I'm not sure. It's a hard also, question. Also, we could see that um, Tomash could squeeze some value out from these uh, 10 company scouts, killing the Captain Marcus with a crushing blow. That's pretty nice. Uh, that way, um, his veterans can stand for a bit longer. Yeah, I but mean, if yeah. Peter has an inspirational fervor on the first bite and they fight on the second, that can get ugly, I yeah. think. Yeah. We will see, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the second fight will need to be forced here. Yeah, of course, because the first, I think the first planet is gone and yeah. Peter will win with the third planet. Also, another interesting part is that, uh, um, what do you think about these different mass, mass removals that uh, the factions have? Like, uh, for example, wouldn't you think that the um, exterminate exterminatus would be really good against war? Like, again, for the next turn, uh, it wouldn't have killed Makris, but everyone else, it, it would have killed everyone else. So, it's, it's situational, but I mean, I guess you could use it. How do you like these? Like, uh, Warp Storm is not, not, not one of these, because uh, it's like, because it's a combat action, it's really decent, really good. But how, what do you think about these, these weirder ones? The Consumption, the Exterminatus, do you? Like these I or? basically I only play Doom usually. Uh, I don't really play Tyranid, so I don't know much about how consumption plays out. But uh, Exterminators, I used to play it, then I stopped playing it, then gone back using at least one, 
then drop it again. So it's a tough question. I, I most of the times it's just one shield, which is mediocre, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we can see the frontline hard boys, which is a pretty nasty combo with the chimera, but there's no chimera now, so it's not not that bad. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, Peter is out of money, and there's a librarian on the second planet. And if Tamash takes the army there, that librarian will last forever. Yeah, and he will also have initiative with this turn. So, um, so that that inspiration of fervor will have to come really soon, or oh, I'm not gonna cut it. And Kato's mm. chosen. Mm. That's nice. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, that's what do, what do you think very about scary the, play. What, what do you think about the Chosen? Do you like these guys? I don't really like them, but when they can pull out these things, it's amazing. Like yeah, pulling this is uh, Chaos Elite from the Blue Planet, or pulling the Art Boys from the Crucial Fight. That hurts a lot. Although with the release of Backlash, you probably don't want to mess with these Chaos Elites. You don't really want to get destroyed yeah but sometimes you have to gamble yeah sure i just i just find these guys clunky because most i mean just some information about the local metagame here um for for a for a good while people really liked to just force the command game and in the command game like this chosen is like what it's gonna drag a void pirate your opponent will discard a shield and you play the three cost one hammer character, the fourth planet. That's just garbage. So, um, and because of Clavex, uh, we haven't really seen these big guys that, that are useful to drag, drag around. So I don't know. I, I I just don't like these. But but again, because of how the the meta in this game is like fractured to small bits, it's uh, it's it's maybe your experience is that uh, what we say now is just not true because for example where you play people play so many wars that you just need to have those calculated strikes in your deck to get rid of the troop transports but maybe you don't maybe you play against space marines a lot so you would even cheer for war here so depends yeah but peter is in quite some trouble with the chosen play because he couldn't force the second planet, so he went to the third one. Yeah, but that, that's which the... is like it's it, it's gonna it's not gonna be easy because those two units are they have three health health, so that's tough. And Tomash can even move one of his units there. Yeah, I mean it, it really hurts that the the hard boys got moved. But it's still, it's a nice planet to, to trigger on the whole army of Tamash. I, uh, I I just hate that planet when it's like it's like stuck at the point where your opponent is like set up there, so you cannot really fight him. So you try to go around and that then gets sprayed and sprayed. It's just horrible. I hate it. Yeah, but what if Tamash just sends his librarian to the second planet? I'm not sure Peter can kill all those other guys and maybe that would be scary but don't forget that uh, you you could lose at the first planet and uh, and you can see that uh, um, Tomash won't win at the first planet so um, I guess uh, I guess they just want to let this go till the last one I mean I, I guess I guess it's kind of scary because Tomash could win with the next one if he takes this one with the blue icons it's, it's kind of tough these these uh one green planets kind of mess things up for them and made the game it's, it's longer. interesting question would you move the librarian to the second one to fight war i mean that really depends i mean maybe that's what he's debating um now or what he's thinking about um maybe yes, i was would... play yeah Kind of aggressive, kind of risky. We'll see. Because don't forget about the uh, the um, the 
took transport. You will have to deal with that too. And it has some yeah, problems. Yeah, but on this planet it's only on Kai. We'll this see. isn't green. Yeah, yeah, sure. This one isn't green, but don't forget that your your opponent can can win at win with the first planet now, and uh, he still has some stuff back at home. He still has the uh, troop transport. He still has the staging ground. So, I mean, it's kind of risky. It's aggressive. Maybe it's not needed. We'll see. I I maybe would have chickened out and. Um, yeah, but it's kind of rough because you don't win at the first night either. So maybe, maybe, um, maybe Peter would just go to the oh, oh. That's nasty. Another Emperor's Varant. I mean, I mean, you will think that there will be a shield for this one. I mean, come on. I'm pretty sure he has to shield this. It's only it, oh, one shield would do it. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I yeah, really he like shielded it too. Yeah, I really like the, the Emperor's Warrant, it's a very nice card. Of course, it takes some setup. You, you sometimes need to just butcher off the opponent's Warlord from the planet to use it. I tried to play that card multiple times, but it always ended up as a shield, so this card is not for me. Not when you play Tonkomada. Okay, but I have Ragnar, <laughs> so you for, him, for him it's not that good. I mean, for him you cannot play it. So it doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, because you could guess that uh, at this point, Peter would just let let the planet go and just uh, put the damage on the um, on your planet again, which is kind of rough. Yeah, but. Peter has some units at home, and if he flees this battle, then his units will arrive half dead to the next battle. I mean, the hard part cannot flee because the war would kill him. Isn't yeah. that only working for Astra Militar um, units? Yeah, 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 but because they would retreat at the same time, he would kill him because he retreats from this planet. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Forgot. Vengeance. Wow. Yeah, that's an oddball. I, I kind of like that one. I, um,. I, I mean, I wanted to like it, but it's again, it's it's a big surprise because you're not gonna count for a vengeance, which is kind of the point of the card. So, I mean, it's decent, but still, you usually don't really get more than four damage out from this, which is a librarian. Yeah, and Tomas has some pretty good streak going on, like a uh, uh, good drop pod. Well time chosen, well timed vengeance. Not forget that uh, he lost, like, is it gonna be one guardsman? Oh my god. Wow. That's kinda, I don't really understand this move. That's kinda sad. Poor little guy ch chipping in for one. But don't forget that those. Wow. I, I, I just love the recruit. So, um. Don't forget that those, uh. Veterans came at the second turn of the game. They're still up. They're probably gonna be up the next turn. So again, you just don't get rid of these guys. I mean, he killed a librarian, but like, I don't think uh, Tomash has lost more than four units at this this game. Uh -huh. They are discussing that the token can retreat the, the, the because token. it's not an army unit. Yeah, yeah, the token indeed can retreat. Value. And in the end, they ended up losing, and it, it was I think a bold that's move. Pretty bad. It, yeah, it was a bold move, but uh, it paid out. Paid off. So, um, I mean, could be a game-winning move. <gasps> and he discarded the summary execution. No green planet for the the rest of the game, like, I guess. Maybe he has, he has a second one, but he withdrew the second. Not the second one. Highly unlikely. At least we will we'll see the power of the ammo depot here, refueling. Yeah, but Tomash has a pretty good board on the first and the second planet as well. Yeah, and that is the scary part. Yeah. Yeah, but now that's the key unit because half of War's army is like on one health or 
too. And that tactical squad can really mess things up. Yeah, I, I guess Peter will force this as a large ditch effort. I don't really get why he corrected the, uh, the guardsman and why the guardsman has to do damage on it. It's kind of kind of weird. Um, so it, it would have been a lot more value at the green planet now. I think he's gonna force the first one because it's kind of not gonna work out if he doesn't. Yeah, but that planet is stacked with the Space Marine side. Even if Kato going elsewhere, it's like pretty solid planet. Yeah, but the but the but he, Tomash would get to move a veteran to the next planet, so that's not not much better either. So and that this one is at least green. Don't forget. So yeah, there is no much choice for yeah, Peter. I think he has to do something. Yeah. I mean, this will be the, the game designing battle, I think, now. Yeah, because whoever loses this planet, if Tomás loses, then he is out of the game. And if Peter loses, his whole army is gone. That won't be, that will be an uphill battle to come back from that. I mean, I kind of think that there were some interesting decisions made by P Peter this game but um, it's kind, kind of weird to see a uh, Space Marine deck just just play this out like this against Yeah, it war. was a perfect curve I think it was like everything span out pretty good for Tomash yeah. during the game It's pretty rare that every everything you try and based on luck Turns out this good. Yeah, and it's and it's just so weird to still see that uh, people just cannot get rid of those veterans. No, will the third indomitable come? I think he has it, right? Isn't that? The... I think I saw that as well, but not I mean, sure. It's, it's kind of value to have it. Hmm. Would you use? Oh, he has the, uh, the sword too, he didn't play it, he will shield with oh, the sword. Oh, yes, then it's an easy decision, like, shield 3. Yeah, I guess you don't really want to attach it to the wounded K2 anyways. Yeah, and area 1 is insane value in this battle because it kills like half of the board. Yeah, we'll see what the uh, tech priest can dig up, maybe something useful, like a third troop transport. We'll see. Yeah, but even that... Yeah, no, but I you mean, have I mean, that orc, no. so yeah, you yeah. have the orcs, so... There is nothing? No, nothing. I mean... No, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's like... I mean, dropout is, drop is better chance to get, like, something, I guess. But it's kind of similar to dropout in the sense that, like, how many 3 costers would you play, like... 10. I, uh, yeah. And how many supports do you play? Like 10 too, so... Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm not sure about the 10 3 drops. And we can see the uh, third uh, Indomitable. So yeah, pretty, I mean... A lot of stuff came out, right? For Tomash, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's still it's kinda, kinda rough to see, like... War just sent home like this. You wouldn't really expect this. Um, troop transports and stuff like that. It's not over, but it will be pretty. And don't forget that uh, Tomas can only uh, uh, Peter can only go home with this stuff if war gets bloodied. How many health does the orcs have? Five. Weren't there two damage on them? I don't know. Just strange. I, I, I saw only two damage on them, and the shrine guard hit for two, and it died. Maybe, I, maybe there was three damage. I missed something. No, I think uh, there was one from the AOE and two from Kato, and then two from the shrine guard again. Oh yeah, then. Then I and just missed the third see, one. We can see more get bloodied, and so now uh, Peter can retreat if he chooses to. Yeah, but the hard hitting guys go home at the end of the, the combat round because he cannot yeah, pay yeah. any of them. Yeah, 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 they are forced to go home. Yeah, and um, 
I mean, war is kind of miserable if you don't have the green planets and you cannot really set up. Which you could. Yeah, it reverts back to Straken, basically. Yeah, because I mean, it's 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 kind of worse than Straken because Straken at least can go there, and and ha and have the have the bonus. Of course, Straken sucks, but still. But if you don't have those, I mean, I I guess it really came down to uh, to Tomash forcing the action at the the now the second planet and uh, at the early game, it really paid off because uh, it kind of overwhelmed War and the way they traded the resources um he came out on top because uh like again he, they traded the fortress to a drop pod but the drop pod turned into a veteran which is still on the board so it's and it will be on the second planet yeah yeah it, it's and... it's it's kind of done here now, so... Uh, I'm, I yeah, mean, Tomasz the, the, has the initiative, the board yeah. is stacked on the Space Marine side, yeah, war is bloodied. Yeah, this, this is over, this, this is gonna play it out for the sake of it. So, I mean, there you go, if you if you wanted to see war lose, then you could see war lose. I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are hyped about this, because we've seen the results that... Um, how dominant this war can be, which, which it can be. It's... It's just so efficient, but uh, I'm just, it's, it's just weird that um, people are unhappy that uh, the, I mean, it's not even arguable that this faction was the worst before troop transport and before this cycle, and now they are, they are, the, I guess, the best. I mean, Space Marine is still up there, so, I mean, what do you think about, uh, uh, yes, you know, Tarum now. Um, I, I know you don't, don't really play them. You play against them, I guess. So, um, do you do you hate this kind of play that everything is just dirt cheap and uh, it's for a lot? Yeah, it's pretty annoying, but I mean, this is the faction itself is is okay and not that overpowered, but. War makes them pretty good because of that added value of plus one attack. It upgrades every card. But as you can see, Tomash managed to deal with him and it's not impossible to beat him. Yeah, and you can see that uh, just from three resources, if this was a green planet, uh, Peter would have put out like 11 damage. So like, oh my god. But of course, war is blooded now, so it's not gonna happen. So they're just gonna play it out for the sake of it, but still, uh, I mean, even for the last turn, for for three cards and three resources, that's that's still a lot. But does it matter if war is no, bloodied or not? Because this is not a green planet. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't. It only matters because now they have a reason to end the game, I guess. Tomás can only lose by accidentally giving up or something. Yeah. I mean, I I always liked Austin Retiro even before it got good. Um, I kind of find it find the space when it's clunky, but they got there. This is just unrelenting, just veteran, 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 and just stand there. And, I mean, Peter got his revenge. Kato is bloodied as well. There is there is no use in saving him. So Thomas just let yeah. him go. Yeah, but this is just this is playing playing it out for the fun of it, I guess. Yeah, it was a well fought battle, I think. Yeah, it really came down to the um, to the to those aggressive maneuvers and uh, forcing. Oh, oh, oh! The start of the deck, the Mystic Warden. And he used that. <laughs> wow. I. Uh, I mean, he should really didn't steal that. No, he didn't. Huh? No, he's st him. Stood up the librarian. Oh, yeah. Okay. To show off the, the the second vengeance. Okay. Like, what do you think about the Mystic Warden? It it really like shows that uh, the, this this the philosophy of this deck is just to have as much as cheap as you can. And I mean, I, this, yeah, yes. I I think I like it because with. Uh... With staging grounds, it's a pretty decent unit. 
and we can see the set handshake. Um, I mean, it was refreshing to see uh, Vor beaten. I, I, I think he was beat properly. I mean, we saw. I mean, we didn't see the uh, the signature support, but we have seen all the three troop transports. We've seen some um, barrages, even if they were shielded. So, I mean, it. I mean, it was beat properly. I think. Yeah, it was a nice game, and maybe Tomáš got lucky with one or two plays, but at, yeah, he, but, uh, at least he got the balls to pull them off, and yeah, it was a well-deserved win for Tomáš. Yeah, so um, if you're happy that you can see War lose, then I mean, here you go. If you're not, because Space Marines won again, here you go. Cannot really tell you more about that. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.